Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Civilization 5. So, I think I'm going to capture Baghdad. We can always keep it as a puppet. If we don't want to gift it to Venice or if Venice won't accept, a puppet won't really make a big difference for us and it will be useful to actually have access to the city. It will still take a few more turns, but I'm just saying. So, we can also use the musket man. And, right, let's reposition slightly. And that's one more attack. We are pretty close to logistics on this guy. He needs seven more experience. Should be doable. Alright then, what else can we do? What about Ram? Well, we will keep attacking his city. I can't really attack it with more than one cannon. Because my second cannon would be a little bit exposed. Unless we block the way with one melee unit. Like this guy. This dude needs to heal up a little bit, so fortify. The cannon still needs to regain some health. And we got a musket man with logistics, right, that will definitely be useful. Just hang back here for now. Oh yeah, we can actually attack the city from here. Wait, I thought that's a forest. That is not a forest. No, it is a forest. Does this guy have indirect fire? Oh yeah, he does actually have indirect fire. Okay, never mind then. The cannon obviously does not. So, we got another envoy. We'll send him to Kuala Lumpur. And that way we can get allied with Kuala Lumpur. And we got a great scientist. We can get one more academy somewhere. But where would that be? I could buy this tile and get the academy here. That's a pretty decent candidate. We can also get it here. And then Medina would also have access to it. That's not a bad idea, I just need to buy that tile. It's only 100, it's fine. So, a mine. Our happiness is mostly fine, hopefully it will stay that way. Also, I think I'll actually try to go all in on the treasure fleet. I already assigned a few cities to treasure fleet, but it's a very quick project, it doesn't require a lot of hammers. So even if we fail to get the gold, the project shouldn't take longer than like 3 turns total at this stage of the game. And we might just be able to get gold. It will depend on whether Gandhi tries or not. If Gandhi goes all in, he will get it. But if he does not, we should get the gold. And that might come in handy. So assign it to everything. Yep, one more city, two more cities. Here. And this one. And one more. No, that's a puppet. I can't do it there. Looks like that's every single city. Alright then. So, fingers crossed. There's a decent chance we'll get it. I guess we'll find out. So. Next. We can check status after one turn. Shaka's turns are taking a while. So, let's see how much we got. It's already 62% completed. And we got 746 hammers. Okay, we probably won't get the gold when it's 62% completed already. But let's do it for one more turn. We might just be able to do it. We don't really lose anything. I mean, we lose one turn of production in every city, which is not a big deal. So, what else do we need? We can chop the jungle and get a mine. And we got a promotion. I think I'll actually pick up plus one range. That will definitely be useful. So, let's get plus one range and we can back up. Here. Alright then, we need a few more turns. But the city will be ours. And what about the musket men? I think I'll grab infiltrators because that's a pretty nice one. Yep. And there's no downside, like with other promotions. No attack penalty or anything like that. I think we should attack with our melee units here. Okay, let's do that. Just to take the city a little bit faster. Oh, and I should have attacked with the ranged unit first. We can still do it. Or maybe not. Okay, never mind. I thought I would be able to, but no. Now, back to Ram. 
He's coming with an elephant, okay. He's not going to get very far. I don't think so. Especially with our logistics musketman here. Yeah, he's already dead. So, goodbye. And now we can position our cannon right here. I just need to protect it with melee units. From both sides, preferably. We can also pillage the silver. Might as well do that. And that will be the academy. We'll work it with Medina, I think. Actually, wait, it's four tiles away from Medina. Well, I mean, that's still fine. We'll work it with Uruk. One thing we don't need is more population in some of our cities. 16 turns. Let's keep it on production for now. But I might switch a few cities to growth. Alright then, that's a lumber mill. And let's see who's going to get the gold. Us or Gandhi? It's probably going to be Gandhi. Let's find out. Would you be interested in no, I would not be interested in a trade agreement with England. Unless you have a luxury we can buy, which you do not. We also got economics. And there we go, Grand Canal. So we won the gold. That will give us an additional trade route. And all our naval units, except submarines and carriers, will get the treasure fleet promotion. Which grants us plus 10% combat strength when attacking, plus one side, and the ability to heal outside of friendly territory. That will be very useful once we build a navy to attack the other continent. And we will build a navy to attack the other continent. We were over 400 production ahead of Gandhi. Nice. So, what's our next research going to be? I think it's time to finish rifling now. Yep, let's finish rifling. And I think we can take Baghdad right now. We should be able to. Let's find out. Yeah, we can take it right now. So, I'm going to pop at it, like I said. Let's do it. So, pop at the city. We also got 186 gold. Okay. We can always try to gift it to Venice or something like that. Let's see if they would actually accept. Because they might not. Partly. Uh, right, we don't have any tradable cities right now. We need to wait until it's out of resistance, if I'm not mistaken. What else can we do around here? Not much. Let's just wait. Yeah, we'll wait for that knight to do something. And if he doesn't do anything, we can kill him on the next turn. Uh, I can actually do damage to him. Yep, like this. And he's dead. Goodbye. You can stay inside the city. And we still need a lot of repairs. So, that's that. That's the village. What else can we do? We can chop some jungle. We could buy the hill and get a mine over there. What else can we do? We can go repair the tiles, that's probably the best. Finish chopping the jungle. And Kuala Lumpur will be ours. Yep, we are allied now. How's Quebec and Jerusalem? Mostly fine, but we will definitely need more envoys. Yeah. We are one diplomat away from losing both. So... We got one coming up in our capital. Let's get one more directly after. And we also need trade routes. So how about that? We can grab one in Oruk. And what's the third city? Lagash. Yeah, we can get one in Lagash. Where the heck was Lagash? Oh yeah, that was the city, this one. Oh yeah, we just finished National Monument. Nice one. So, should probably get the garden to stack that with National Monument. But let's grab that envoy first. Then we'll get the garden and then probably windmill. But I want garden first, for sure. Now, what about Ram? Kill this dude. Might want to use the Lancer there. And pillage the silver. Then maybe move away. Yep, let's move away slightly and protect the cannon. And he's moving in with a catapult, really. 
That's not quite what I wanted to do. Well, down goes the catapult. Can we actually negotiate right now? We can. But we don't have that much war score, only 33. I honestly expected more. Okay, whatever. Amphitheater? What about stable? Not too many tiles that would benefit from it. I only see one, actually. Probably not worth it. We could grab a caravanzari. I don't think I have a caravanzari in a single city. Or we can get the windmill. Let's actually rush the windmill. We'll need a windmill in every city eventually. We got an admiral and we got a frigate. That's from the project. That will definitely come in handy. We can send them to explore a little bit. Maybe not the admiral. That's not exactly safe. Castle is done. Grosser, definitely, and let's rush that. I'm not interested in peace just yet. Let's wait another turn or two. Get more experience. And maybe we can capture his city. It would be doable. The Aztecs lost their capital. Okay then. And wait, I think I saw a successful city capture for Jerusalem, what? I saw something for a split second. Where is it? That one. Was that the one? Successful city capture for Jerusalem. The tactical experts from Jerusalem commend you for your efforts. Oh, they wanted us to capture a city. I didn't even see that quest. Well then, I unknowingly finished a quest for Jerusalem. And now we got 388. Influence. Okay then. That was unexpected. I certainly don't mind. So, what else? I think one of our trades expired. Yes, it did. So, salt, olives. We need to stay friendly with Gandhi. He has too many luxuries that we need. At least right now. Uh, hold on, gold from Gandhi. 11 gold per turn. Yep, that's acceptable. We could probably still sell horses. Let's sell horses while he's paying for them. Because that will not last forever, I can tell you as much. 16 gold per turn, or maybe one more horse. And we can go for 18. Yep, that is good enough. Accept. And we are at minus 2. University is done. Yep, grocer next. And I'm going to rush the grocer. That's a pretty important building. And we got a promotion. I'll grab overrun. That is so good when we're flanking someone. So, do we still want to attack Arabia? I mean, I suppose we can. Maybe not too aggressively. Yeah, we can kill the Camel Archer on the next turn. It's not exactly super dangerous. And we got logistics. Yep, I will definitely take that. Repair. And it's nice that Baghdad is already connected to our trade network. So, in one turn we'll finish rifling. Which means we'll be able to upgrade to a field gun. That will cost around 1000 if I'm not mistaken. It's a pricey upgrade. But it will help our siege against the ram. This might be a good moment to back up. He is doing damage to the cannon. Which I don't like too much. Where do you think you're going? Nowhere. Yeah, he's using city bombardment on the cannon. That's what's happening. Well, we got 57. We can still use the explorer. It should be fine for one turn. What level is it? Level 4. Not incredibly high, but I would prefer to not lose it. We can use it for one more turn. It should be okay. Alright then. So, fortify. As for the caravan. Maybe not in Uruk. Well, Uruk is getting minus free from poverty. How about we get to that caravan, sorry, in Uruk. And we'll start a trade route from Uruk. Sounds good to me. City-state or Venice. Let's send it to Venice. Heal up. Nothing left to attack over here. 
unless we want to take that city to the east. But we don't need everything for that. Right, so Admiral will go back into the city and our frigate can explore a little bit. We can also use the Admiral for Voyage of Discovery. But we don't really need that. Although, we would get two free copies of a luxury resource not available on this map. That would actually be helpful. But not right now. If our happiness drops much further again, I will use that. And we might not be able to keep buying luxuries from Gandhi forever. In which case, this would definitely be useful. Antwerp seeks a great merchant. We will be getting one eventually. Here, we are in industrial era now. And I think I'll be going for imperialism. How many techs does Gandhi have right now? 42? And we have 40. So he is slightly ahead of us. He didn't go for rationalism, did he? Uh, there's way too much crap on this tooltip. Let's check it like this. No, he has progress, fealty and industry. Did anyone go for rationalism? It's too early, I suppose. They can't do it yet. Okay, so Gandhi went for industry. Now, what's our next research going to be? I think it's time to unlock the public school. Not to mention the zoo would be quite helpful. And what do we do with you? I think I might send a diplomat to Delhi. Let's do that. Works for me. And Mecca. So what else do we need? Illiteracy. That means library. Then probably water mill. In fact, water mill should be first. And then we'll see. We can buy the monastery right away. We will need walls. We will want a ziggurat. We'll need an aqueduct for sure. Circus. And that will do. We could also get a windmill first, but it will take quite a few turns, even if I rush it. Still, it would be more efficient that way. Our happiness is fine right now. Let's just rush the windmill. After the water mill. Okay, we'll do it like this. We'll get water mill, windmill, and then focus on these other things. Sounds good to me. So, there's the envoy. He should go to Quebec City. We only got 162. And the contender has 150. So we might lose it any moment. Basically. Now, we are still at war. Now we should definitely back up. Yep, let's just go back into the city. And we can probably kill the pikemen. Let's see. I wouldn't mind capturing this city. How about we upgrade the cannon? 1000, like I said, so I remembered right. It's almost exactly 1000. Yeah, let's upgrade it. That will increase our firepower quite a bit. Definitely worth doing. And we could send some of our other cannons, especially the one with plus one range. And upgrade that one too. Still, the problem is that it will take us a few turns to actually get there. It will not be quick. But, alright. We might as well do it, I suppose, if we want to stay at war. What's our war score right now? 33. I thought it would be higher, but okay. So, more repairs needed. Is that town pillaged? No, it's not. Okay, then. And yo. We still got some luxuries waiting for improvements. Might as well go work on that. I can't quite kill the pikemen right now, so let's just fortify and wait one turn. Works for me. And move around slightly. Here, that will do. We got the city surrounded, at least on land. What else do we need? One more farm down here. And that's it. So, two more envoys coming. I think we'll send one to Quebec City and one to Kuala Lumpur. That seems reasonable. Also, since we are in industrial era now, we can buy some great people for faith. We could buy... where is it? The Great Artist, which is definitely a good idea. We should buy at least one, maybe two. 
there's the envoy. So one of them to Quebec City and the other one to Kuala Lumpur. And let's buy a great artist. I think I'll buy two, but let's start from one. We'll have to wait a few turns to get another. Five turns to be exact. And we got some crossbowmen. It's a little bit late for crossbowmen, but alright, whatever you say. I suppose we could use them as garrison. Barrage, barrage. Okay then. We should get more units in general. We are at 31 out of 55 military supply, so nowhere close to cap. We got three envoys total. So two envoys to Quebec City and one to Kuala Lumpur. That sounds reasonable. And how much damage is this going to be? That is definitely better. We should be able to take this. Especially once our plus one range cannon arrives. So that's the one. It will take a few turns, but it will get there. That's logistics mask and men. Stay fortified. And we still need a few more repairs. Right, Arabia is still coming. No problem, more experience for us. I certainly do not mind. That guy will go down for sure. Yep. And we might want to send a garrison. I'm actually slightly out of range now. Okay then. I mean, that is fine. We are still in the positives. But we don't want a garrison in there. More jungles to chop. How about this one? Because that's next to a river. Sounds good to me. Production. In our capital. We need quite a few buildings in here. Let's grab the windmill and then probably printing press. Either in our capital or maybe in Oruk. But Oruk doesn't have chancery yet. Yeah, printing press in our capital is fine. Works for me. There's a garden, windmill, definitely. And I'm going to rush that. Now, we will need a few thousand gold for unit upgrades. So, I need to think about which ones to upgrade first. Definitely the highest level ones. That's obvious, I suppose. We got quite a few units with logistics at this point, actually. Three caravans in a row, okay. Right, so chop the jungle. And we can use the pikemen as garrison. So, how about this city? We can pillage some improvements around it. Yeah, might as well do that. I suppose it won't hurt. Okay. And let's check Ram. He is trying. He's still sending some units to attack us. Where's that indirect fire musket man? This guy. Well, funny enough, he doesn't need indirect fire right now. This guy does. And he doesn't currently have it. Well, let's just stay fortified and block the elephant. It's not like he can do anything about it. He most certainly cannot. And we'll just keep attacking the city. It should be ours in like two turns or so. Yeah, our other cannons won't even get a chance to get there. A windmill is done. That's Medina. Do we want stables in here? Not really. I'm thinking Chancery, actually. Yeah, we do have three allied city-states. It's definitely worth getting Chanceries. And they don't even take that long to build. This one needs a windmill first, I would say. And let's rush it, that's fine. More repairs. Okay then. So, that's that. Keep moving. And the envoy will go to Kuala Lumpur. Let's maybe not go too close to Ram's cities. We wouldn't want that envoy to get killed. That would be pretty bad. And we still got that hill we can chop. Maybe with this guy. So, Quebec City. And again. That will be plus 100. How much do we have now? 
255 and Contender has 150. 384 in Jerusalem, so we should be fine. What about Kuala Lumpur? 208, Contender has 95. We should be quite secure in all three city-states. Pop the Great Artist. We still only got 15 tourism, that's not exactly amazing. 16 now, I suppose. How much does Gandhi have? 64. Yeah. He's getting a little bit too far ahead in terms of tourism. That concerns me a little bit. Let's check everyone's culture poll, maybe. So, India. Yeah, look at this. 37,000. That's the biggest culture poll right now. Shaka has the second biggest culture poll. Almost as much as England, really. Well, that's slightly surprising. We'll probably have to do something about Gandhi. He's doing a little bit too well in terms of culture and tourism. But we'll worry about that once we're done with our current war. So, we are pretty damn close to taking this. He's still trying to defend himself. It's probably safe to move in without cannon by now. We could upgrade it first. And then move in. But by the time we do that, the city will probably be ours. Yeah, most certainly. I think this guy will be able to fire on the next turn. Remember, he has plus one range and indirect fire, so he can do that quite well. I'm pretty sure the city will be ours on the next turn, even without this cannon. Still, it should be fine to move in. He can only attack it with city bombardment, and that will not be enough to take it down, not even close. He will go into the city as garrison. We'll grab a forge. There's the grocer, so windmill next, and we'll rush it. And windmill here, same story, let's rush it. And I think that's that. I can't attack from here, sadly. Okay, then, yeah, too many hills around the city, I'm afraid. Alright then. I don't plan actually taking that city. I'm satisfied with Baghdad, it's fine. Now we can kill the elephant, actually. So let's do that. Always more yields. I won't say no to that. Chop the forest. And that's our turn. I'm not interested, at least not yet. Yeah, he barely did any damage to that cannon. So now I think we can take the city. Let's do that first. Oh, and what's going on in the Congress? We are voting for the host. I'll vote for myself. Sure. It's probably going to be Gandhi, but hey, you never know. Now, let's take the city, shall we? I'm pretty sure we can. Like this. And then the field gun from over here. Yeah. We might have to attack with more than one melee unit. So the one in the middle first. Yeah, we need to attack with more than one. But the city is ours. And we finished architecture. Nice. I'm going to keep it as a puppet. Yeah, that seems reasonable. That will give us half the unhappiness. Because a puppet generates one unhappiness for every four citizens in the city while annexing will produce one unhappiness per two citizens in the city. Until we construct a courthouse, but a puppet also won't increase costs of science, policies, things like that. And now we can peace out. We'll probably have to wait a few turns. So what do you and now, well then, Hello. so I can't turn him into my vassal, unfortunately. Which is annoying. Can we do it with Arabia? Oh. oh, Arabia doesn't want to negotiate at all. So what well then, I could wait oh. another turn or oh. two. He has like nothing left. He has two cities left, literally. That's all he has right now. In any case, that's going to be the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time.
Bye-bye.